हेलो सर यस सर तो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस दिस रिलेशन बिटवीन जीरोस एंड कोफिशिएंट ऑफ पॉलीनोमियल तो वी नो व्हाट इज अ जीरो ऑफ अ पॉलीनोमियल जीरो ऑफ अ पॉलीनोमियल इज अ वैल्यू एट व्हिच द वैल्यू ऑफ पॉलीनोमियल बिकम जीरो द वैल्यू ऑफ पॉलीनोमियल बिकम जीरो ओके so today we will discuss the relation between the zeros of polynomial and coefficient of polynomial so what is the coefficient of polynomial coefficient of polynomial is like this suppose this is any polynomial ax plus b so basically this is a linear polynomial okay this linear polynomial is having a degree 1 so this term a is the coefficient of of x and this b is the constant term this b is the constant term suppose we have a quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c so this a Will be the coefficient of x square. This b will be the coefficient of x, and this c is the constant term. In the same way, <clears throat> if we have a cubic polynomial, okay. we can find what is the coefficient of x cube there what is the coefficient of x square and so on no linear polynomial linear polynomials so linear polynomial is what px is equal to ax plus b now i am taking one example to explain the relationship between the coefficient and the zeros suppose a polynomial is this 4x plus 3 This is four x plus three. Find zero of this polynomial p x four uh, x plus three. So it will become four x plus three is equal to zero. So what value of x we will get? Minus three divided by four. Now see this minus three. What is this minus three? Oh sorry. Uh, what is this three? This three is the constant term. and what is this four four is the coefficient of x four is the coefficient of x so you can write it as minus of constant term divided by four coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x so basically this is a relation uh, between the zero of a polynomial and the coefficient so for this polynomial px plus ab 
Px is equal to Ax plus B. In this case, the zero of the polynomial will be x is equal to minus b by a. And this is a linear polynomial. So linear polynomial have degree one. So at most, zada si zada, at most zeros of this polynomial can be one. So for linear polynomial, <clears throat> Zero of the polynomial x is equal to minus p by a. Now for quadratic polynomial. For quadratic polynomial. So for quadratic polynomial, uh, Px is equal to Ax square plus Bx plus C. Ax square plus Bx plus C. Okay. <clears throat> so, and here A, is not equal to zero. So the degree of this polynomial will be two because this is a quadratic polynomial. So at most there can be two zeros of this polynomial. So let us suppose alpha and beta are the zeros of polynomial. Let alpha and beta. These are Greek symbols. Alpha and beta are zeros of Px. In this case, sum of zeros that is alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a and product of zeros that is equal to alpha beta that is equal to c by a. Okay, so what is this uh, b? What is this b? Coefficient of x Coefficient of x and what is this a? Coefficient of x square. Hello, Azan, are you getting my voice? Yes, sir. Okay. So this A is what? This A here, coefficient of x square. And here is minus sign. This is not minus sign. Now, what is C here? Constant term? Yes, sir. Hmm. And A is the coefficient of x square. So basically, these are zeros and these are coefficient of 
x and x square coefficient of polynomial so basically this is the relation between the zeros and the coefficient of polynomial for the quadratic polynomial one more polynomial we will study cubic polynomial cubic polynomial Cubic polynomial can be written as ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d, where a not equal to zero. So this is a cubic polynomial, and this cubic polynomial will have a degree of three. So at most number of zeros for a cubic polynomial will be three. so let us suppose alpha beta and gamma are zeros of polynomial px so in case of the cubic polynomial we can write alpha plus beta plus gamma means sum of zeros sum of zeros of a cubic polynomial is equal to minus b divided by a now you can see what is minus b uh, what you can see what is b this b is the coefficient of x square and what is a coefficient of x cube coefficient of x square divided by coefficient of x cube this minus b or uh, this b is coefficient of x square and a coefficient of x cube now in case of cubic polynomial alpha beta beta gamma and gamma alpha is equal to c by a c is the coefficient of x a is the coefficient of x cube and alpha beta gamma is equal to minus d by a what is d constant term what is a coefficient of x cube
एग्जाम्पल नंबर टू सो दिस इज अटिक पॉइनोमियल इन दिस क्वेश्चन क्वालिटिक पॉइनोमियल इज गिवन सो यू शुड रिमेम्बर दिस सम ऑफ जीरो इज इक्वल टू सम ऑफ जीरो इज इक्वल टू माइनस बी बाई ए एंड प्रोडक्ट ऑफ जीरो इज इक्वल टू सी बाई ए फॉर द पॉइनोमियल ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी So they are asking, find the zeros of quadratic polynomial x square plus seven x plus ten. First of all, we have to find the zeros of this quadratic polynomial. After that, they are asking, and verify the relationship between the zeros and verify, verify, verify the relationship between zeros and coefficient. Between zeros and coefficient. Okay. So uh, this polynomial is given. You can write this as p x is equal to uh, x square plus seven x plus ten. To find the zeros of this polynomial, this p x must be zero. This px, the value of this px must be zero. So you can write x square plus seven x plus ten is equal to zero. So you can write this as x square plus five to the ten x plus ten is equal to zero. X square plus five x plus two x plus ten is equal to zero. Now take X common, so it will become x plus five. From here, take two common, it will become x plus five. So you will have x plus five and x plus two. That is equal to zero. So you will have two zeros. You will have two zeros. X is equal to five and x is equal to minus two and x is equal to minus five. Now suppose this is alpha. Now suppose this is beta. Now we have to verify the relation between the zeros and the coefficients. Okay. So we have this equation. Now compare this equation with a x square plus B x plus C. So after comparison, what is the value of A you will have? One. What is the value of B you will have? Seven. What is the value of D C you will have? Ten. So in case of the quadratic polynomial, what is the relation? Alpha plus beta is equal to minus B by A. And what is alpha? You have to find the. You have to verify this relation. Verifying means left hand side of this equation, left hand side of this equation is equal to the right hand side of the equation. Means this value must be equal to this value. Okay, so check uh, left hand side. That is equal to alpha plus beta. What is alpha? Minus five. What is beta? Minus two. Minus seven. Now right hand side. Minus b by a. Minus. What is b? Seven. What is a? One. It will be minus seven. 
सो लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज इक्वल टू राइट हैंड साइड मीन्स दिस इक्वेशन इज वैलिड इक्वेशन Now verify for the product of zeros. That is, alpha plus beta is equal to c by a for a quadratic polynomial. Now left hand side, that is equal to alpha beta. So alpha is minus as alpha is minus five. I am putting the values directly now. Alpha is minus five and beta is minus two. So it will become ten. Right hand side, c by a. What is c? Ten. A is one. So it is also ten. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. Means this equation is valid equation. So we have finded out these zeros. and we have verify the relation also between the between the zeros and the coefficients so this relation is valid relation and this is also a valid relation understanding yes sir okay so we will do more questions and uh, first note down then we will do some more question
स्क्रॉल डाउन यस Scroll down. Sir, one minute. Okay, okay. No problem. When completed, na, you can tell me to scroll down. Okay, sir. Done, sir.
ثاني سؤال write down this uh, do not write the question question is from ncert example number 2 okay and write only answer chapter number 2 Sir, scroll down, please.
Azan completed? Okay. So, uh, next question. Mm, this question is saying find the zeros of the polynomial x square minus minus 3 and verify the relationship between zeros and coefficient. So, this is the same question. We will not solve this. Instead, we will solve this question. Sir, like uh, if only like only two values were given x square minus three. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 okay. I understood. This is most easy. Is easy I think easy? I know how to do, but uh, if like mm -hmm. only two values are given, how can okay? You you are you are saying that how you will find a, b, c, and how you will yes. uh, define the relation. Yes. So in that case, you will take one value zero. You can see here in this question. Hmm. Okay. So in this question, they are saying that find the zeros of uh, the polynomial x square minus 3 and verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient. coefficient. So this question is same as earlier we did. So you will solve this question like this. This polynomial is given. You can write let like px is equal to x square minus 3. So to find the zeros of the polynomial, uh, you have to do x square minus 3 is equal to 0. Hmm? Now, what can you do? This 3. Sir, can we write x square minus 3 plus 0 minus 0 equals 0? Mm -mm -mm. Uh, how? x square minus 3? Sir, we can take the outside 0 inside and then we can write it 8 is equal to 0. This is 3. Mm, how you are saying? I am not understanding what you are saying. Sir, like uh, you have written x square minus 3 is equal to 0. Yeah. So I am saying the 0 which is outside, you uh -huh. take it inside. So it will become x square minus 3 minus 0. Then we can no, no, write... no. No. So actually that is not the case. If you will do like this, means you are saying this now we can write this as x i have written this like this okay so if you will take minus 3 minus 0 so it will it will not affect hey, again here will be zero actually yes. for example for example if I, this value is written okay if i added and i subtracted zero if I subtracted 0 from this value, so there will be no effect on this value. Hmm? Yes, obviously. Okay. For example, if suppose I return this, if suppose I add 0, no effect. But if I multiply 0, then there will be the effect. So don't get confused here. Okay. When you will take 0 here, automatically here will be a 0. Like, okay. for example, if it is written, suppose 5x is equal to 9 minus 3. So this is this is equal to 5x and 9 minus 3, 6. So you can write this equation in this form. 5x minus 6 is equal to 0. Okay, you can write in this form. If suppose somehow you have written here minus 0. So this minus 0 we can remove any time and we can add any time. So there will be no use of this. Okay. So okay. There is no significance of this thing. Okay. So. Okay. 
so this is 3 so i can write this 3 as root 3 square so this is x square minus root 3 square and that is equal to 0 now there is one formula a square minus b square that is equal to a plus b and a minus b so this is a square this is b square a square minus b square so we can write x plus root 3 x minus root 3 is equal to 0 so what is what are the values of x we will get x is equal to minus root 3 and x is equal to root 3 so these are two zeros of this quadratic polynomial these are the two two zeros of this quadratic polynomial now this is the polynomial given x square minus 3 so compare this with ax square plus bx plus c so when you will compare na so this is x square x square and what is the value of a so you can write this polynomial if you don't know how to compare then i am telling you can write this uh, like this 1 into x square hmm plus 0 into x okay minus 3 is equal to 0 you can write in this way now compare this compare okay so now compare this this is a x square so what is the value of a this is x square x square and a is equal to 1 1 uh now this is 0 x this is b x so what is the value of b 0 0 0 0 so minus 3 minus minus 3 okay uh, now we have to verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient so very easy alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a okay so alpha plus beta now we will write directly okay alpha plus beta alpha you have to consider this as alpha this value as alpha so oh, not this value means root 3 as alpha and this value as beta so minus root 3 plus root 3 minus root 3 plus root 3 that is equal to minus b by a minus b by a means b is 0 so minus 0 by a is 1 So this is zero and this is also zero. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. Means this expression is valid expression. Now product of zeros. Alpha beta is equal to c by a. So alpha minus root three. Beta root three. What is c minus three? A is one. So root three multiplied by root three is three, and there is one minus, so it will become minus three, and here is minus three. So this is also valid. Hmm. Oh yes. Sir. Suppose this equation is written. X cube plus. Three. This is a cubic polynomial. Now you have to find the value of a, b, c, d because cubic polynomial is in this form. A x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d. 
So to find the values of A, B, C, D, you have to compare this with this. So how to compare? So rewrite this equation. Yes, rewrite this equation. So it will become x cube plus. In this equation, now you can see that b is equal to 0 and c is equal to 0. But if you want the method, then I am telling that method. In this equation, is there any x square? No. no. Is there any x? No, there is no x. No. So, so we can write this equation as 0 into x square. Hmm? 0 into x square means 0. This is 0, nothing. So we added 0. There is no effect on this equation. Now, for x, 0x, zero 0x. Zero x. Plus uh, three. Three. Now compare x cube. Co here is here is one. Here is nothing. So you will take one. One x square. One x cube. So a equal to one. B is equal to zero. C is equal to zero. And d is equal to three. Sir, I have one doubt. Mm -hmm. So, sir, instead of 0x square, we can also write 1x square, right? No, when, when you will write here 1x square, so means, if you have, suppose you have written here 1x square, okay? Suppose, for example. So, now rewrite, now again convert this equation. So, it will become x cube plus 1 in x square means x square plus 3 means you have changed the polynomial can we change the polynomial if no. you will write 1x square means this polynomial will change so this polynomial is different polynomial and this polynomial is different polynomial okay sir why we are writing 0 because when we are writing 0 so there is no effect on this polynomial remember you have to write this polynomial in this form so that this polynomial remains same. Okay, this thing you have to keep in mind. So here a is equal to uh, one, b is equal to zero, c is also zero, and d is three. Okay, so write down. Example number three and chapter number two uh, and the ERT. We are writing 0x square 0x because when we will multiply 0 into x, 0 into x means 0 and 0 when added it will not affect the equation. When subtracted it will not affect the, that will not affect the equation. Okay. But, but we cannot change the given polynomial. Okay. 